Following our previous video on app registration, we'll now delve into setting up and paralleling a Dynas inverter for both single-phase and three-phase systems. For parallel configurations, we have the capacity to scale up to 6 units or 48 kilowatts. Parallel connections can be established in either single-phase or three-phase arrangements. In a single-phase parallel setup, the overall wiring scheme is as follows. Ensure that the parallel dip switch, located on the right, is activated for both the first and last inverters. Connect the parallel cable from the PB port on the master unit to the PA port on the slave unit. Follow this sequence meticulously. For a three-phase parallel setup, the wiring configuration remains consistent. Activate the parallel dip switch for the first and last inverters as before. Connect the parallel cable from the PB port on the master unit to the PA port on the slave unit, adhering to the same sequence. This segment focuses on configuring the parallel settings, beginning with the master inverter settings. First, we'll activate parallel mode. Then we'll assign a unique physical address ID to each inverter, beginning with one for the master unit. Following this, we'll designate the manual settings to the master. Next, we'll specify the inverter phase setting, whether single or three phase. We'll also define the total number of inverters in the setup. It's essential to enable parallel sync on the master, ensuring that all settings configured on the master unit are synchronized across all slave inverters. This section covers the parallel setting for a slave inverter within your setup. Firstly, we'll activate parallel mode. Then we'll assign the physical address ID, setting it to 2. Subsequently, we'll designate the manual setting to slave. Next, we'll adjust the inverter phase setting accordingly. Additionally, we'll set the total number of inverters in the configuration. It's important to note that for slave inverters, the parallel sync option should be turned off. In parallel mode, when you connect to the inverter via Bluetooth, you'll observe a combined overflow of power energy. Below are potential faults you might encounter during the paralleling process, along with a checklist to assist you in resolving them.